Why, what a beautiful morning today. It's the sixth, the sixth day of May, early. I'm early here trying to capture these boats. That boat looked like the boat I was dealing with. 80 foot merit, $12 million new. You know what it is to be able to afford a $12 million boat just to go catch fish. You can't take the toy from the man. As they get older, they get richer, the toys become more expensive. 86 merit, 12 million. And look at here. That's where they love the Bahamas. They're all trailing behind each other. Big money. They're getting faster, they're getting bigger, and they ain't catching no fish. Well, you know, this is our $12 million boat. You're spending $2,000, $5,000 a week on diesel, and you ain't see a fish. They say it's better than a day in the office, but this is Boat Harbor. They're going out to sea, they're all lined up. There's another one behind there. This is where the big boys come to play. And this is not the biggest tournament. The biggest tournament is a couple of weeks. The custom shootout. Custom shootout means that you design your boat and you put whatever, whatever you want on it because you got the money. And every fisherman will come and look at your boat just like these taxi drivers. They'll come look at your car and see what you get in your car and try it though, do you? They ain't got no original brains to think for themselves. Uh, just like after Hurricane, they hear about Airbnb. They can't even spell, spell Airbnb. But they still got Airbnb. Two years later, they ain't got no rental. But they want Airbnb, because it sounded good. This Abaco for you, baby. That's that three, $12 million boat just bank around the corner. Everybody heading towards Manawar Channel today. They got four right there lined up. Uh, they're early. They can't put their lines in the water till 8 o'clock. You may go there, but you cannot put the line in the water until 8 o'clock. Uh, not a beautiful sun rise this morning. A lot of clouds. A little chilly in Abaco today. Man, it's a cool... Um, 69 today. As we look over Eastern Shore, where the government invested so much money to pave the road and nobody, no behemoth lives up there. That's what most of the house look like after hurricane. That one will never rebuild. But they good. Eastern end of Marsh Harbor. That's where that old brute I that Confederate flag. He in Pogatari now. You ain't got to worry about him putting no Confederate flag back up in this country. And the wall to Jericho is completed. The road is being completed. And this is early morning. Early, early morning. As we zoom into Boat Harbor. There they are coming out of Boat Harbor. That one just woke up. A few more. It's a good tournament when you see how about 60 boats in the tournament. It's a little baby tournament. They're getting ready to head out to sea. Uh, the ferry boys, uh, they haven't woke up yet. GNL boys woke up, woke up. They always woke. They're getting ready to uh, head out to sea. A new addition there to you know, they like competition. Um, they build a, a shed. They build a shed. They got a boat with no name. They got a boat with a name. They got a white boat down there. They got all black boats up here. I ain't saying much more about that. We got steps here for the first time in four years. The tourists are happy that they could get in and out, out of their boat comfortably. It's one of these early morning workers are heading out to sea. 
uh, in the backdrop there is that time sharing that probably will never be fixed. Nonetheless, welcome to the 6th of May in Abaco. Early, trying to capture that sunset, sunrise, but it ain't happening today. Too many clouds in the wrong place. Right along the Hopetown backdrop. It's cloudy, no sunrise. Good morning from Abaco. You're live with Kai on WCAY. Wow.